Slack versus Discord for business. Hi guys, today I am comparing Slack with Discord to figure out that which one of these software is better for you to use for your business. So let's get started. Now we have Slack and Discord. Both of these software are actually the management based softwares where you can actually do chatting calls and audio calls and other stuff like that. So when it comes to being a chat based business managing software, well, Slack was the only one in game for a very long time. But now Discord is kind of like a free alternative where you can do all of the things that you can do on slack for free so yeah from here we actually get the idea that discord is completely free the sign up process the features all of these features are completely free and you can do chats and calls for free without paying any fee but when it comes to slack on slack you will get a free trial of your free version but it is limited you will eventually have to buy a plan in order to avail all of these different features on slack now slack is kind of considered as a project management software but when it comes to discord discord is not a project manager software but you can do business right here and you can actually manage your team on discord as well and that's why we're actually doing this comparison of discord and slack most of the people would say that it is like you know apple and oranges but i think that there is a similarity if we look at the outlook of both of these websites just look at this app right here on discord you can see that it has different channels and you can see the outlook right here you know the reaction what you can do you can actually react to different messages and stuff like that and look at the outlook of slack they're pretty similar in the outlook as well so let's you know break into these one by one and let me show you around different features and that will actually give you an idea of how these actually differ from each other and how they are actually related to each other first we have discord now on discord you have different servers for example you can look right here that these are all of the different service that i am in right and once you have a server now that server has different channels for example look at this server it has these different channels that i can actually you know message in i can do video calls i can do audio calls i can react to messages i can send images i can send videos on discord right here but when it comes to slack you can see right here similarly slack also has different channels but for the server it becomes a little difficult for you because you know when i also have like different servers you don't call them servers you call them workspace okay so i have a workspace right now which is called continuum okay but my other workspace the other one i'll actually have to go back and log into my other workspace in order to go through that channels so that's the thing about slack and it becomes a little you know difficult for you to you know switch from server to server or from workspace to another workspace but when it comes to the outlook you can see it also has different channels and different channels you can send videos you can send audios you can attach file you can react to messages as well so when it comes to the audio and video quality discord is better than slack because slack is not a chat based and call based software it is not it is a project management software so that's why the quality of calls and chats is better in discord now what happens is let's talk about the business how these two actually work in business so let's go to slack first and let me show you how slack actually works in the business because it is a project management software so you can manage all of your different tasks on slack and the good thing about slack is the integrations you can actually add different integrations into your slack if i go right here and let me show you that you can actually add integrations and these integrations actually make slack much better in a business you can actually you know integrate your google drive you can integrate your gmail you can integrate different softwares you can see right here that you can integrate your gmail you can integrate zoom you can integrate microsoft team you can integrate hub spot you can integrate all of these different softwares into your slack and that actually makes it a better option for your business because when you're doing business you will be sending emails you will be sending you know when it comes to the calling you can integrate microsoft teams you can integrate zoom so that's better in slack but when it comes to discord you don't get integrations so that's a big difference this point actually goes to slack for the integrations and for the automation i think slack is better 
and when we talk about business on discord now you might think that okay discord is chat based maybe it's like whatsapp or something like that but it's not that it's not just you know chat based software what happens on discord is that there are business that you can do there are different channels every server for example you can see this is the server for a nft based marketplace and they do business here you can actually sell your products here you can actually add links you can actually do affiliate marketing on discord you can do a lot of other things so there are different plans also different programs happening on discord all the time that are good for your business you can actually you know advertise your business on discord and when it comes to organizing your team you can create a server for your team and then you can add different channels that will actually help you get organized and that will help you manage your team well actually what slack does slack also helps you manage your team as well where you can actually you know chat with the team so that's actually pretty good when it comes to discord you actually get the option of private messaging as well which is the direct messages you can send to somebody and on slack you can actually do that as well but you cannot be one-on-one -on -one, like direct message somebody you can actually direct message if i click right here you can do that here and both of them actually allow the direct messaging but when it comes to the calling and video calling the quality of the calling will not be that good so when it comes to the business on discord let me show you around like how people actually do business on discord for example let me show you right here you can see that they're actually saying that this is the report wash trade people actually do trades on discord discord is becoming more and more famous as the time passes it's because it's gaining popularity with the time the businesses are also coming on discord now because it is free so that's a very good thing the things you can do on slack you can do on discord as well for free when we talk about the you know creating different tasks creating subtasks you know managing your own dashboard slack actually provides you that as well what happens on discord is that you don't get any dashboard you cannot add tasks and stuff like that and when it comes to time tracking you cannot do that on discord but on slack you can actually you know go ahead and you can integrate all of these different things into your slack you can integrate a maybe time tracking software into your slack as well and it will actually allow you to track time as well so these are different things like you can send actually email through your slack by integrating your hubspot into it your business you can actually integrate your shopify or etsy into your slack as well so when you integrate your shopify or etsy on your slack that's pretty amazing right that's the best thing for your business you actually can integrate your e-commerce store on slack or you can you know integrate slack to your shopify or to your etsy so that's pretty good that's the best thing about slack and that's why it kind of stands above in business point of view when we talk about the business i would definitely say that slack for doing business and for doing management slack is better than discord but when it comes to the chatting and advertisement promotions then i would say that discord is better because you can see that all of these different platforms are now on discord and young people are actually on discord now it's easy to use it's free so you will find the audience on discord that actually is active all the time so you will be able to advertise your products better on discord if you are in the marketing agency or if you are in this kind of business then you will find discord better than slack when we compare both of these both of these platforms are actually pretty amazing very easy to use kind of like similar to when you send messages i can you know type a message and then simply you know send it right there if you want to react to a message you can actually you know go ahead and do that similarly on discord you just simply go ahead and you actually type a message and you just simply then send that message so yeah guys i think this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to figure out that which one is better slack or discord i would suggest that if you have a marketing business then i think discord is better if you have another kind of big business then you can go for slack make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel